Hi guys, this is uh, Carlos from Backyard Diesel from Texas. I am Ty, his new assistant. And today we have um, is that mid 04? 04. That's the 04 Chevrolet Duramax 6.6 .6 liters. And uh, we do uh, the valve adjustment on this one. And the first thing we're going to talk about is what we need to take up to get the to gain the access to the valve. All right. Then two sides. It's because that the V8, right? The V8. Yeah. So it's gonna have two bank, and on this bank, we need to take up the turbo intercooler line and the wire harness. Intercooler line is right here. That's all. Okay. And on this side, we are gonna take up the computer and the battery. Actually, um, no, this um. Filter housing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Air filter housing, and then the turbo hoses, charge cooler lines, charge cooler Tubes. line, tube. All right, what else? You remove your valve covers. Oh, yeah, and then the valve cover, you remove your pick um, bracket, and bracket, and loosen up all this. All your wiring harness, get it out of the way. Oh, yeah, on the wire harness, uh, got your for your glow plugs, remove all that. You removed your fuel yeah, pump. Yeah, the fuel, Va yeah. Vacuum pump. That's uh, to get to this side. That's some of the things. Uh, one thing that to make it easier, we removed the fender wells on both sides. So, yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, I want to show you some of the parts that uh, we removed to get to this stage to do your bow lash. Uh, let me just show you back here on the truck. Um, Hold on, let me get on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, there's your filters right here. Your it's a filter housing. And your wild um, cooler tubes. Pick them hard. Tubes. Uh, that's your the coolers. This is your hand fuel uh, vacuum pump. It's not really considered a okay. fuel pump. This is the winers. That's for your. Uh, discharge hose. Uh, discharge hose. Turbo oil. Discharge drainage goes back into your uh, valve covers. And uh, is engine cover. Engine cover. Which really, people cap that off. And we got some more parts over here on the inside, kind of protect the expensive stuff. That way, you know what to remove. Uh, it's pretty much it, you know, you guys also, you gotta be super careful with these lines. Y'all know what I'm talking about once again. Oh, you... this one is the one that goes on the... Injectors. Yeah, the injector. Your return lines. You know, you pick them, your bracket for your harness up there on the driver's side. Um, your injectors, your upper valve covers. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much... That's a valve cover. This is what we use the entire to remove all this stuff. Uh, yeah. So you Long way get your tool together so you can get to it easier. There's my one of my sons here, messing around with tools. Say hi, Andy. But okay, <laughs> uh, now for the main part. I'm gonna show you how to set the when you know. You to show them how we take it out. Oh, eh, you'll figure it out. Oh yeah, that thing. I'm talking about all the uh, fuel lines. Oh yeah. Show them the fuel lines on both sides. The more room, the more, the better. Okay, so, so for short, we just trying to make, you know, just the more room, the better. So just take off everything until you you see, uh, you feel it's clear to work on. And then you know we take off, you know, pretty much. And then um, this one thing I need to show y'all is, don't forget to take off this fucking thing. This is right here. That's a heater, right? Yeah, which one's on, uh, since you're pointing at? Oh, on the, uh, yeah, the glow plugs. Those are your glow plugs. Oh, the glow plugs. Yeah. You're doing good, Ty. All right. Um, all right, now we're going to set it at uh, top dead center. All Show right. you guys how to get to top dead center. I did a lot of questions on how to get to top dead center. One of the things that I want to show you is uh, your crank bolt down there. Um, on this Duramax, it's on a nine o'clock position. 
probably get on this side, Ty. Because I put, that, put the cover back on I shouldn't have for this video. But let me see the phone for a second. I should kind of point it to him. I'll give it back to you. Um, I'm a point straight. This is on the passenger side. I'm a point. Try to get to it. You'll see the marks right in there. I think I'm pointing at it. Let me see. You'll see it right there, right there, right now. I'm on top dead center on the second stroke, which I'll explain that here in a little bit. Man, I love my nails. <laughs> so pretty. So okay, that's your mark that you'll be looking for. And remove this valve cover and use a 36 mil. Uh, with 12 points to spin the crank, but you'll be able to get so it just you might have to loosen this up This one was kind of actually flimsy. So we were able to get our socket and our half-inch wrench in there All right, Ty, get back over here, Ty There's Tutu Di algo, Tutu Tutu, hey, Tutu What's up, man? My muscle right there Oh, man, good name, good name Okay, one of the things that we did here Huh? All right, so something happened. We got video messed up or something. But anyways, okay, back to uh, how to wow. figuring out the firing order and how to know which valves to adjust. Um, you know, for the firing order, you know, for Duramax on this one, LLY OB7s, um, don't matter. It's a one, two, seven, eight, four, five, six, three. I'm not gonna sit here and explain to you on how to figure out. Um, which valves to adjust it's kind of I mess I confuse myself trying to if I try to explain it I know kind of how to figure it out but not explaining it but a lot of a lot of technicians what they do uh, they they adjust each cylinder at a time to a 90 degrees I'm just gonna explain it real roughly say you're at top dead center one you adjust intake and exhaust on one and you spin it another 90 and exhaust two and so forth seven and keep going to the finish at three at a 270 degrees but that's I find that a lot harder uh, to do other than just doing two full rotations of the crank um, so I'm still sticking to the same order when you know on top dead center over here um, when you know you're on the number one stroke which uh, say you know you got your <clears throat> intake compression power and your exhaust stroke but you know these are two the same that really doesn't matter so I just keep it at two so we're looking at the first rotation. Say you already put your engine on top dead center, and you know for sure that your uh, number one cylinder, your intake and your exhaust valves didn't move at all. That means your top dead center needs are your valves to adjust. So your top dead center on the first stroke, which you you adjust, this is the I for intake, E for exhaust. So it would be your intake and exhaust. I kind of messed up with my, uh, don't pay attention to that, Grace. That's my bootlegged white out. And your exhaust on number two. Three, intake. Four, you leave it alone because you're gonna catch it on the second rebound, on your uh, second rotation. So five, um, intake. Six, intake. Seven, exhaust. Eight, exhaust. Okay, now once you've completed this on your top dead center, for your most, mo most advanced guys that you know you're on top dead center on cylinder four, I mean, you could work your way back, but I'm working with the guys that have, haven't done this before. So now you spin it another three, another uh, 360 degrees back to the same mark. So it'd be a full rotation back to your mark. Remember, now you start on the other valves that you didn't touch, which would be <clears throat> on your second stroke. We go back to would be your number two intake. Remember, intake's always your shorter arm. Don't uh, confuse them, especially on the uh, passenger side. They're reverse. So pay attention to the length of the rockers, rocker arms. Okay, and back to cylinder three, your exhaust. Four, remember you're on your second, you're gonna adjust two, both your intake and exhaust. Remember you didn't adjust it on your first first stroke um, on your top dead center. So you did the full 360 and you're pretty much, that's what you're covering every valve that you didn't touch. So okay, continue, five, exhaust, um, six exhaust, seven intake, eight, eight intake. And pretty much the hardest one out of it is they're all pretty much not hard as the one you will have trouble with is on your second stroke, number eight cylinder, on your intake. That is the very last uh, short arm on the driver's side. 
So remember that. That's the hardest one at all. Every, everyone else, remember when you remove... Uh, oh, that's something I wanted to show them, guys. A little trick. How to adjusting the valve lash. Um, remember... Oh, let me see. It's... Uh, 0 0.012 thousandths of an inch with your feeler, feeler gauge, which I'm fixing to show you something that I, I did that um, helped me out a lot. <clears throat> um, here's your feeler gauge that you guys be using. Um, see, these are numbered. Probably the guys, these aren't, don't worry about it. These are cheap. I think this was a two three bucks somewhere in there but what I did I, I straightened it out a little bit I won't be able to reuse this anymore because I already put I already messed up um, the inch I pretty much added a hump messed it up but anyways what I did I bended this into a 90 degree angle and that way I could get it in um, in between your rocker and your uh, valve so you just take a uh, show you guys on uh, one say uh, let me get that thing out real quick I guess I should have left it alone to show you guys but it's not hard I mean just remember take your little finger bend it at a 90 degree angle careful not to bend it too far so all right. it better tell me when you're ready all right I'm ready all right well, where we were at showing them on how to, how to set these valves um, just a little trick that I wanted to show you guys. See, for example, these aren't expensive. These are, I think, three, four bucks, whatever. Um, I don't know if I said that already. But this is what I did. But I removed it from this to have it by myself. Get you a magnet. You will drop it in the valve cover. Uh, the valve train, anyways. So, okay. So, right now I'm on uh, top dead center cylinder number four. So, three. And should be... Exhaust should be loose. This would be, I'm gonna show you guys. See that little play? Pretty much really nothing. You can hear it. Yeah, but it don't, has don't, a little lay, but. But don't go by noise. Always use your your gauge. I'm just using this as an example where to get your valve lash in between. I can't see. Okay, there it is. right there so always you don't want too much play you want it a little snug see I don't know if you can see that yeah not too loose but not too tight just perfect yeah you know you can you know stick it out and you know can you go Z and D that's, and out easily that's perfect right there so you remember and now uh, let me show them one thing whenever you, you're setting up your valves stand back up a little bit <laughs> Right there, you need your 14 mil. Loosen this up when you know you're on the valve. You're gonna adjust whether it be in the intake or the exhaust. Um, always back up your nut 14 millimeter first before you touch your get your screwdriver. A long one's very handy. Uh, you can. That's the remember what I said earlier. The number eight ega intake is the hardest one. Other than that, you're free to go. Um, so back up a little bit, and then when you got it right where you want it. Hold your screwdriver and with your finger adjust it right tighten it as far as you can can and then if you can use your screwdriver and then your 14 millimeter there's gonna be some spots where like the number eight um, this one's gonna be kind of a little bit hard to get to and remember where your screw setting was pointing at and then take your little socket or nut and tighten it in it slowly back back up your socket and make sure your um, dial hasn't moved make sure it's pointing exactly at the same spot now if you move if it moves if you notice it move just do it again or try to hold it and then get it again with your wrench tighten it a little bit with your wrench before the socket so that's pretty much it fellas uh, hopefully this video was helpful and uh, any questions we got a tutu Got our muscle, which is pretty much you tell them what you need them to tear down and show you. We got tire, smart guy. Uh, we got Billy Pelham. He's our other mechanic. Uh, his uh, boys are sick, so he's a little out right now. And I know me, I'm the janitor. So 
anyways hopefully this was very helpful and leave us some comments uh questions anything we can help you out and ty would be responding because he knows how to look up all that stuff up but anyways good luck to you and uh appreciate you guys all right i just want to add a little to it so when you got on the bow adjusted so the installation will be exactly reverse uh procedure when you take it out what you take in first you're gonna put it last that's all i want to say thank you